It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Sevilla, Spain. We've actually been here for two weeks, but this is gonna be our very first day doing all the touristy stuff and getting to show you around. Yeah, being touristy in our own city that we live in. <laughs> That's ours, <laughs> that we're fluent in the language. but I actually think it's improved a lot in two weeks. We've been going to work every day, been immersed in it. You're gonna be blown away by Andrew's Espanol. That is not true at all. <laughs> yeah. I can understand so much more, but when it still comes to speaking, I'm very shy. I can definitely get around much better than, than I used to, but I lack vocabulary. That's really my main thing. You know, you're about to hit the tree. Yep. Yeah, storytelling is super hard right now, but. It's just, a diff just difficult. something classic and something Sevilla is very well known for. Welcome to the Plaza de España. As you can tell by the number of people here, this is a really popular place to come for tourists from all over the world. But we actually came at an early time, early for Spain. It's like almost noon. <laughs> and there's not as many people as normal. So come early. And you might have so many questions as to how this could have been built in the 16th century. Well, it wasn't. It was actually built in 1929 for the Ibero-American exhibition. So basically it was just built for a big wow factor. And wow <laughs> is all I have to say. <laughs> Wow's all you wow. really can say. Wow is all you can say. It's actually it's actually giant ginormous. Another fun fact is that each bridge represents the four factions of Spain. Well, the four beginning factions, which were Aragon, Castile, Navarre, and Leon. Also, another fun fact, Star Wars 2, The Clone Wars, right above us. They filmed it here. They filmed it here. <laughs> so, fun fact. You can actually see right here, there's like tiles all throughout the entranceway of this. You can see where it says, Ibero Exposición Americana. These plaques show that 1929 history that we're talking about. Yeah. There's proof right here. There's proof. <laughs> okay, not a liar. So, down here on the ground, on the plaza, there's these benches that curve all the way around and each bench represents a province in Spain. So I came here in 2015 and I took a picture with a random province and if I can find the picture, I'll, I'll show you. But it's so cool because visitors who live in Spain who come here usually go take a picture with their province and that's super cool. We're in front of Toledo, our first trip in Spain when we studied yeah. abroad in Madrid. And it was like our first little day trip, so how cute. So another cool thing about this plaza, which I think Jenna was gonna talk about, but I'm gonna talk about it as well. <laughs> he hijacked it. Um, is that there's this beautiful river that runs through and normally you can rent a boat and do a little boat tour. And then also it just goes right underneath all the four bridges that we talked about. Yeah, that would be cute. That would be kind of like how you can row in the, in the, in Retiro Park in Madrid. I don't know what time we're supposed to be there. It doesn't really say. We bought our tickets in advance to the cathedral. But I don't remember the entrance time and it doesn't say it on the ticket. I assumed at like 1240 or 12.35. I'm sure we'll be fine. I just realized we haven't been upstairs. Watch out. So we gotta go back upstairs real quick and then we'll run over to the cathedral. All right, headed to the cathedral now. There's so many people out right now. A lot of people out. Everyone's out now. So once we get to the, towards more towards the center, you're gonna see like people in groves. Yeah. Is that the right word? I don't know, but like it sounds groves. Like groves is in bushes or like like, like they're literally they're hiding in, in they're bushes. They're in a vineyard. these streets are and I say that knowing that I could probably just get run over by the tram right now it's really cool to just like walk in the center of the street see this guy's biking in the middle of the street yeah that guy just does not care we came here on day two and I was like really in love with this part of the city I will say this part of Sevilla really looks like Madrid <laughs> yeah it also might be why we love it so much because we really love Madrid more biased though since we stayed there for four months but 
just for a really quick crash course on Spanish history. The Moors invaded Spain in 711 and they remained in the southern part of Spain until Queen Isabella's reign in the 1400s where they were pushed out. But to this day there's still a bunch of Arab style architecture and history and something cool that Spain did is they didn't completely tear everything down and build it back up. A lot of the architecture remains and they built onto it. So you'll see things like mosques that become cathedrals or for example like the Arab castles becoming more Spanish castles. So that's something that's so unique about southern Spain that I really love since the Arab architecture is just so fascinating. So I'm going to talk about some fun facts about the Sevilla Cathedral. The Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Upon completion in the 16th century, this was the largest church in the world, which is kind of crazy to think about. It is now the third largest church in the world. So, we're gonna go inside, explore as much as we can. We do have another thing after this that is scheduled, so we're gonna try to get as much in as possible. But there's also a very interesting piece of history inside this church, so let's go check that out too. Salida afuera, primera puerta izquierda. Ah, entramos por la entrada. We were close, we were close. <laughs> There's just so much texture on the ceiling blows my mind. I have no idea how that is done or what goes through the process in that in that time period to get that done, but this is just fascinating. I've come here once other in my life and it's unforgettable. You walk in and you're like, yeah, I've definitely been here before. So we've been to Notre Dame and that is like one of the biggest churches I personally have ever seen in my entire life. And we've also been to a church outside of, of Madrid, oh, and Vatican City. And this is like, there is so much space to move around, even though there's so many people in here. It's just so big. You don't think it could get any bigger, and then you walk around a corner and it's like, holy crap. Walking up next to these columns, they're massive. It's like, feels like, you know, you're in the redwood forest, but like bigger. Oh, that's a good, that's a good analogy. Because we've been there too. Quick plug. This is a travel channel, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is that Lord Farquaad? What is behind me is something interesting that is in the Sevillan Cathedral, and that is Christopher Columbus's tomb, or what they think is Christopher Columbus's tomb. I read online that his tomb was carried around to different colonies of Spain, um, and the last place that it was in was Cuba and the Dominican Republic. Apparently in the Dominican Republic, they ended up finding something washed up on shore that had his name and something very similar to what was on his tomb. They have it in a lighthouse in the, in the Dominican Republic, but here is technically the official Christopher Columbus tomb. So the four kings that are carrying his tomb are Castile, Leon, Navarre, and Aragon. An Italian man on his quest to conquer the Americas. No, his quest was to find India. Well, he landed in the Americas. Yes. I could really go for a cafe con leche about now. Yeah, I, I agree with that, which we will be showing you. If you don't know what a cafe con leche is... It's a coffee with, with milk. milk. We know Spanish. I'm getting a little annoyed. I know, I just want to get it. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little too cramped for me. I'm not having a good time. But it's really pretty up here. There's beautiful bells. You're going to get some beautiful views up here on a nice calm day. Right now it's a little, a little hectic. So. It is a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Just as some informational info, there's 34 little tosses and turns, or roundabouts and then you're at the top. So coming down has been a breeze. Yeah. We're finished with the cathedral. Now to probably what's going to be my favorite stop, the Alcazar, and our appointment's at two, so we have 20 minutes to at least mosey over there. No, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's that wall that we saw earlier. All right, go on. of Sevilla and this place is absolutely astonishing. It's probably one of the most important buildings in Sevilla and it tells a really rich history. It started in the 10th century um, when the Moors actually used this as a fort and you can tell that from the walls outside and in the 1400s when the Castilians took back the southern part of Spain they started turning it into a palace and apparently it took about 500 years to officially complete because every new king or ruler added something onto this palace. So you have everything from like Moorish original architecture all the way to like really gothic 18th century architecture. So it's really interesting. And that's why we're gonna tour around it. 
And one of Andrew's fun facts of the day, this is the oldest royal palace still being used in the entire world. That is a fun fact. My fun fact is Isabella and Ferdinand are like my 20th great grandparents. We should be living here. You have a baby. If you were walking around this courtyard right now, you definitely would not feel like you were in Spain. So personally, Andrew and I really like this style of architecture better than the like traditional Spanish style because we really love the arches and all of the detail and texture on the walls and the colors. Every single wall and every single corner is a piece of art. This room is by far my favorite because if you look around, there is not one square of empty space. They've completely decorated every single wall all the way up to the ceiling and it is absolutely gorgeous. I remember this one room from when I came here when I was like 17. You walk in and you'll remember it forever. Andrew, you look like the ultimate tourist. I do. <laughs> I feel like a nerd. So Jen and I were thinking, eh, we don't need to really record anymore, but now we've gotten to much more of the gothic Spanish style, which is upstairs apparently. I love tapestries. <laughs> I literally just said, I feel like tapestry preserves so well compared to like a lot of the buildings or paint. It preserves a story and it preserves art and it's just fascinating. And there's even wording, which I cannot really read. <laughs> We're having a bit of trouble finding somewhere to eat. Everywhere's packed, it's lunch hour. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but well, we're on a mission and we're hungry. So, you know, not much was open <laughs> or available for us. And we, so were, we were like... We were starving, so we hopped into an Italian <laughs> restaurant. It wasn't really vlog worthy. No. And we're a little bit ashamed that we did that on <laughs> our Sevilla vlog, but we're gonna continue and we're, we're gonna, gonna continue have... with some interesting things to do. We're about to have a cafe con leche and one of our favorite pastries that we ate in Madrid all the time. Napolitana. Yeah, I know, but they don't call them Napolitanas here. I know, I think it was a little donia thing. It's your favorite thing in the world, right in front of you. A Napolitana. Me. No. <laughs> so this is... There's a cafe in Madrid called La Doña. Highly recommend it if anyone is in Madrid. And they would give out like three Napolitanas for two euros. It was like the greatest deal ever. And they were this size. They're just so good. I just love chocolate croissants. And this is pretty much one of my favorite things in the world, which is just a simple cafe con leche, which you'll get anywhere in Spain. It's just an espresso with milk. And we like to add a little sugar in here because you know, we've been taking 15,000 steps. Go for it. Let me know if it's just as good. This brings back so many memories. This cafe in particular in Madrid, Ladonia, was always open 24 hours for some reason. I don't know why. So I would always go study and I would always get more Napolitanas. So it was just like, I had an addiction at the time and it's coming back. This really does make me happy. I think it's like more like nostalgic and emotion tied to this certain drink and snack. <laughs> I don't know who thought these looked like mushrooms, but they really don't. But these are the setas de Sevilla, which are just mushrooms of Sevilla. Whoever built this said, I'm gonna put mushrooms above the city. People here were not very fond of that. Um, but they've learned to accept it and embrace it, and now this is a huge part of Sevillan tourism. Fun fact with Andrew. It is the largest wooden structure in the world. It doesn't look wooden, but I promise it is. We could go knock on it if we want. Also, there's a skywalk on the top, so you can walk along the top of it, which we're not going to do. <laughs> but we're gonna enjoy it from underneath. What, yo? <laughs> I guess we just rolled up to the skate park. Is everyone out here skating? Just super popular here, we found out from the kids at the school that we work with. Yeah, everyone's just chilling. Good vibes up here. Now you gotta get in front of that little I love Sevilla sign. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, say I love Sevilla. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> really really a long day but a really fun one yes super really fun. really fun for the past two weeks that we've been in Sevilla we've been doing a lot of the local stuff as in you know getting up commuting going to work mm -hmm. drinking beer in the middle of the day but today we wanted to do the touristy stuff with you and we had a really good time but anyway 
Really hope you enjoyed this vlog. We do have some really fun things actually up and coming, which are very exciting for us and for you. We will be going live soon. Yes, which kind of spoiler is we kind of have an apartment. Kind of have. Kind we of. We don't have the key yet. Okay. We'll see you <laughs> in the next video, which will be great. And ciao. Hasta luego. Es el nuestro día que caminando en Sevilla. <laughs> yeah, vale. <laughs> Vamos. As we're walking to the main train station, I'm reminiscing on the time two days ago where I got pooped on by a bird. It was built for the Ibero-American expedition. expedition. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't knock on the structure because... It's definitely supported by not wood. Yeah. But and... the structure itself should be wood. If I was 10 feet tall, I would, though. No pun intended. <laughs>